guys, welcome back to the Wild Dog Project 365, episode 484. Today we're talking about is increasing thoracic extension. Thoracic extension is a big limiter, for especially going up and overhead, right? It's a big contributor to shoulder injuries, or at least shoulder, shoulder pain, impingement type syndromes, because here's what happens. If we have a thoracic flexion posture, right, rather than allowing ourselves to get into full thoracic extension, it's very hard for us to not make up, right, Rob from Peter to pay Paul, it's very hard for us not to make up the movement by just simply hyper flexing the shoulder. So we actually put ourselves into bad positions, not because we have shoulder issues, but rather because we have thoracic issues. So if we go ahead and clean up that thoracic extension, a lot of times we don't need to do anything with the shoulder. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to take a simple exercise that I'm sure you might have seen before where we, uh, we bring our palms out on top of the wall like such. And all we're going to work on is hinging at the hips. So we're basically going to draw our butt backwards. It's important here that we keep our, our torso taut, right? Um, now, here's the thing that we're going to change from this. If I drive ourselves down like this, you can see how my palms have to stay up. My arms are going to be out. And I could be limited by the shoulder mobility that I have. I can't really get a whole bunch into my thoracic spine. I don't really get a whole bunch of... Um, of extension there. So what I want to be able to do is actually bring my arms into internal rotation. It's one of the only times that I'll actually do this. And although it's not a great position to be in internal rotation, it allows us, we can take advantage of the slackening of the shoulder into internal rotation to put more pressure onto that thoracic extension, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to get away from the, the plain wall here, or the flat wall here. I'm going to go in, into the corner. When I go into the corner, if I put my arms in here like this, I'm basically taking my hands from an externally rotated position, cheating into internal rotation. I'm going to take advantage of that internal rotation slack that I get in my shoulder. And as I dip my head down through, I keep, uh, I keep my, my torso tight. My butt's going to come out to hip hinge. And, I, and I'm going to dip my, hand, my head through my hands. And when I do that, I'm able to get a lot better pressure into that thoracic extension, right? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to hang out down here like this. Of course, are you going to get some shoulder mobility in this too? Yes, you are, but that's not going to be our major concern today. Our major concern is going to be really pushing our head through to really work that chest into thoracic extension rather than staying into that, that fixed and fle that flexed fixed posture that we see so much in our uh, sedentary job and lifestyles today. Guys, uh, I hope this helps you out. And until tomorrow, we're optimizing function to optimize performance. <laughs>